seeing is the, the consumer wants ease, mm -hmm. and they want it to be simpler. Mm -hmm. If private label became such as a Wall Street Journal mm -hmm. and, a, and being a part of a wine club, or it became Sid Patel's mm -hmm. s private label mm -hmm. and you were shipping it to somebody, I think you're gonna see some growth there. I think mm -hmm. you're gonna see some uh, advantages to that market. Hi guys, welcome to the International Bulk Wine and Spirit Show. This is where bulk wine, bulk spirits, and private label business happens. So I'm here with Todd. Todd, thanks for coming to the Bulk Wine yeah, Show. Yeah, thank you very much, Sid. So very guys, uh, Ciari, you know, uh, is the world's largest wine brokerage firm. I think uh, I just wanted to ask him what's going on in the freight industry and, you know, what, what are the trends and especially what's going on with the China trade, you know, uh, with the countries like Australia, Argentina. So Todd, why don't you give us a little five minute rundown on freight and where the movement is happening. Yeah, and, and I'm not an expert in the freight thing. I, I just follow it because we're obviously involved mm -hmm. in it uh, intimately with our customers and our clients. What, what do we gather at this point in time and what we know at this point in time is that we are behind, rather it be in containers, mm -hmm. rather it be in ships in general, mm -hmm. the costs of ports. Mm -hmm. um, that's all become such an issue at this point in time. It, it has become a strategic mm -hmm. advantage to know what you're going to do once you have the wine. And if you have the wine and you don't know what you're gonna do with it, it's a bad situation to be in. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's a hard situation to solve at this point in time. Obviously the, the, the cost is becoming more and more of a deterrent when it comes to shipping wine around, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, it hasn't really, because people, because of the shortness of the supply around the world and the lack of older vintages, people are willing to suck up some of that cost now. I don't know what that looks like as we move into 2022 and beyond. Got it. should be interesting. True, that's true. I think a lot of people are afraid to increase the price and taking that uh, cost into their pricing, but sooner or later, it, it will all start. It, uh, wh where are you seeing the buying uh, trends, you know? Uh, let's say, how's the private label demand going from U.S. retailers? Yeah, well, you, well, as I mentioned in the presentation, you know, most of it is the ease of doing business, right? So okay. when you when you start to look at some of those private labels and the stuff that's in brick and mortar, it, it, it's it's not. Bad. So we say it's like a flat in terms of mm -hmm. percentage of sales and everything. Like that. But what you're seeing is the the consumer wants ease, mm -hmm. and they want it to be simpler. Mm -hmm. If private label became such as a Wall Street Journal mm -hmm. and a, and being a part of a wine club, or it became Sid Patel's mm -hmm. private label, mm -hmm. and you were shipping it to somebody, I think you're going to see some growth there. I think mm -hmm. you're going to see some uh, advantages to that market. Mm -hmm. um, have we yet to see some more people take advantage of it? Not yet, not got yet, it, but it's it. coming because that, because the consumer is demanding ease and, and making it simple to and buy. And I think this, this whole thing showed us how much control is important, you know, like just to control the process. And that is one of the main yes. reasons I think people will step into 100%, this. 100%, I agree with that. Uh, any closing remarks for, you know, our industry, our fellow fans, you know, just on how to tackle the 2022 market? Any tips? Well, yeah, you know, I always say this in all my presentations, you know, growing up in the wine industry and, and being a part of the Ciotti company and doing it, you, you know, it's a united industry. We're a very small industry. We got to work together, even though we compete for dollars and cents uh, in the marketplace, we have to work together and, and to, to face the challenges that we've never faced before, such as the logistics and uh, costs at this point in time, and, and especially with consumers, uh, consumption, I should say, dipping off a little bit and, and you know, not planting more vineyards. You know, we, we can't lose more space to the spirits world and to mm -hmm. the beer world. We, we have to do it together. And, and Rather that be uh, capital investment, or rather that be a new marketing tool, or rather that be uh, you know the big one, of the big players stepping up in yeah. this game. 